The Comfy UI Studio now includes 200 pre-configured workflows. Just extract the archive, start the model download, and you're ready to go. No setup required, everything is prepared for immediate use. Get started with Comfy UI Studio today. How to install Comfy UI Studio with 200 workflows? Visit our Patreon page and become a member. After that, you will have access to the Comfy UI Studio V200 post, which contains all the download links and workflow updates. Click on the main download link to download Comfy UI Studio. Google sometimes limits downloads when many members are downloading the studio at once. To avoid these limitations, you can copy the archive files to your drive and download them from there. If the downloads are limited, try the reserve link. After downloading the nine archive files, it's important to use the WinRAR app to extract them. Only WinRAR can extract without issues. Right-click on the Part 1 archive file and choose to extract it into any folder you want. After that, run the model downloader script and wait until it's done. Now you can use all workflows in Comfy UI Studio. Some models cannot be downloaded automatically, but the links are provided in the workflows white notes. Important: The studio folder names must not contain spaces or symbols. The folder names should be short, using a single word. There are scripts for each model, allowing you to download any of them separately. Navigate to the manual download folder. These scripts will download or resume downloading if the connection is lost. They will not start if the model is completely downloaded. In the 6Apps folder, you can find additional applications you can use. For example, FFMPEG one-click install, necessary for using audio workflows, FluxGym, and other useful applications. You can read the full workflow list in the readme.pdf file. Here, you will find additional useful information. You can click on the blue workflow names to watch the YouTube review for that workflow. How to update and add new workflows. You can find update archive in the Patreon post or on Discord. Extract the archive into a folder, not directly into the studio root folder. Inside the extracted folder, you will find an update script. Run the script and the update will be applied automatically. After the update, you can delete the extracted folder. Now, your Comfy UI Studio is up to date. How to use the new top menu. Start Comfy UI with the start script. The workflow list is on the folder icon on the left side of the screen or press the W button. You can open more workflows at once and switch between them with tabs on the top. Start generating images with the Q prompt button. The button can be moved or attached to the top menu. The generated images can be found at the bottom or by clicking the top icon on the left side of the screen or pressing the Q button. To enable or disable the connection lines between nodes, click on the eye icon on the right. You must clear VRAM when switching to another checkpoint or workflow, because if VRAM is full, rendering may take a very long time. The main SDXL workflow is a default Pro 12 workflow. It contains 12 workflow groups, to turn workflow groups on or off, use the switcher node. Use only one workflow at a time. All workflows have a style chooser node. 
This node adds a prompt to your main prompt, allowing you to quickly change the image styles at the output. To see all styles in images, there is a folder where all the styles are rendered for preview. You can edit the style text file anytime in Notepad++. The text file is located in the ComfyUI folder at the bottom. There are three types of prompt inputs you can use. The positive prompt node, where you can type any text. The style chooser node, which adds an additional prompt after your main prompt. And the LLM prompt generator, which creates a detailed scene based on the words you type in the node. I delete my main prompt and disable the style to use only the generated prompt. I generate another image with the same prompt. The generated prompt will not change until you modify the input words or the seed number value. I change the seed number again to receive a new prompt based on my input words. I will show you how to upscale an image. I will use to upscale us to see the difference. Drag the image into the load image node and start the process. The SD upscale performed better, but I will add the prompt to the latent upscale workflow and reduce the control mesh strength to achieve better results. The next main workflow is the Flux Original 11 workflow. Here, you can find 11 workflow groups. All workflows have Redux nodes, which can copy the style from an inserted image. You can adjust the strength of the style to achieve different results. It works like an image-to-image -image function or an IP adapter style transfer. Let's test the Redux nodes to see how they work. Now, I will not use prompts, the style chooser node, or the prompt generator. Let's see how the Redux node works without any prompts at different strength levels.
I mixed two images using Redux nodes and set the style strength for both images to high. This is the result. If I lower the second image's style strength, the result will change to this. Thank you for watching.